Dear Diary, It's been one hell of a week. Eventually, Jennifer and I were able to turn this around. Cindy thinks it was a prank. We managed to pull off a surprise party for her. I changed her entire wardrobe completely. With the help of Jennifer, we took away all her clothing and went shopping to get her new bags, shoes, hair and jewelry. Everything cost me almost 120,000 Ghana cities. Oh my God, I owe a lot. Dear Diary, unbelievable. I'm in shock. I feel so guilty. All this while, Chris and my sister were planning this wardrobe overhaul for me. Wow, Chris is the best thing to ever happen to me. I love him so much. I love you, baby. I love you too. Hey, but I must say, you got me really food. Chris, how could you? <laughs> Look, I had to make sure it was perfect. You should thank your sister for me. But wait, who came up with that idea? Well, it was my idea. I bet you were angry with me about the hair. Uh -huh. And so? And so, I was going to buy you more hair. Aside from the one I made you buy? Of course. So when I went to buy it, I just said to myself, you know what? Let me just change the whole wardrobe. Oh, baby, come here. Come here. Mm, mm, ah. <laughs> and that naughty sister of mine was the perfect person, eh? Perfect. Look, she held me. So that's why James knew nothing about it? See, I forgot to update him. And I think that's why I slagged. I should have told him. Anyway, I loved what she did. I mean, all the dresses fit so perfectly. Uh, I have a favorite in there. Which one? Let me wear it for you right now. <laughs> oh, the red lingerie. I knew it. When I saw it, I said, this man, you want to watch me wear them, huh? Yes, I want you to change in front of me. Naughty boy. Okay, give me a second. Hey, Cindy. Cindy, hey. As for your body, dear. Close your eyes. Oh, you want me to miss the nice part? Please, you have seen my nakedness over and over again. Dear Diary, I have never seen Cindy so happy. And for a minute, I was caught up in a lot of lust. Cindy went into the bathroom and changed into the lingerie. I couldn't wait to get my hands on her. And so I did. We made love again and again. But my guilty conscience was eating me up. I'll bet her. <sighs> Pillow. <sighs> yeah? I'm so sorry for attacking you. I love you so much and I'm happy I married you. Ah, I'm happy I married you too. And look, Cindy, about the baby, we're going to have one, okay? Maybe you were right, the ovulation window. Maybe we missed it. Yes, and, and I want sex every day, baby. Please, I need this baby. We are going to have one at all costs. You promise? With my heart and soul, Cindy, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I want to have my little young pillow just like his father. Hey, you already seen a son. Preach on, my love. Preach Please on. Please allow. I'm going to have a son by hook or crook. <laughs> ah, anyway, I'm tired. I'm tired. You don't want another round? Hey, you are in some fire, eh? Aren't you? Please, baby, I want more. Sure, but I need to rest a while, okay? Okay, baby, rest for me because I'm not satisfied. Where are you going to? I'm going downstairs to watch a movie. I don't want to disturb you here. Oh. Mm, all right. Let me catch some sleep. Sure, I'll be back. Mwah. Hello, Cobby. Haven't I told you not to be calling me by this time? What's wrong with you? I will come to America soon. I said I will come. Ah! I don't know yet. She's my daughter too, Cobby. I have not abandoned her. You are here. I will come. Cobby, I know asking you to keep our daughter's secrets is a big favor. Please, 
I'm begging you, just give me some more time. I have to go now. Chris might wake up. Dear, Dear diary, we, we all have, have secrets. Marriage is a long journey and, and we, we just started. started. 